Hey, hey, how's it going, everyone? Hope you're doing well. Um, I'm going to recap the Chantilly card show. We also show off some uh, REA pickups from their June Encore auction. Um, really great show this week. But actually, let's do, let's do the REA stuff first. Then we'll dive into the show and some thoughts and going into the national and um, other comments and things like that. So, uh, all right, first off, REA. Auction ended Sunday, just got these cards in yesterday. Had some USPS problems with the package, signature delivery going back, but anyways, whatever. Um, what did I win? I won this uh, T206 uh, Zach Wheat Tolstoy back. Very cool card for me. Um, uh, I've never owned a um, Hall of Fame T206 off or rare back. Um, pretty well centered, really great image, big fan. Um, I, I forget, he was only like 100 hits short of 3,000, right? If he plays one more season, he's able to leg out some hits. More people are gonna know about Mr. Zach Wheat, Tolstoy back, pretty cool. All right, here's another cool one. Um, I have no idea what this guy's stats are. Obviously not a Hall of Famer, but when you look at the card, it's fantastic. And there's a reason I bought it. Um, T206 Harry Petit. Very cool image. Um, just regular Piedmont back. Uh, fantastic image. I think T206 has six horizontals in the set. Here's one of them. It's a beautiful, beautiful card. Okay, as I zoom in closer, it gets better. That's good. All right, fantastic card. Why is this card cool? Because it's on the cover of this book. Uh, Judging the Authenticity of Early Baseball Cards by David Rudd Cycleback. That's a fascinating Cycleback, T206 Cycleback. Um, goes into some cool stuff, uh, let's see, about like looking at cards under magnification, looking at um, different things, looking at like T206s, looking at the printing, uh, how cards were made, you know, things to look for with like natural light, stuff like that. Um, fantastic book. I think I got this on eBay or Amazon. I forgot. But uh, I bought this maybe like six months ago. Decided to put the card with it. Very cool. Pretty affordable card. Um, I don't know, like 100 bucks. Zach Wheat. Um, okay. Chantilly had a great show. I think this is my favorite show I've ever had in terms of a being a buyer. Um, a lot of people, I, I shouldn't tell you, in my backyard here in Northern Virginia. Um, it's 15 minutes away. I know a lot of the dealers. I know a lot of the people that go. Uh, very heavy autograph show, um, but pretty sure, pretty well attended. I couldn't make most of Friday. I showed up for the last few hours. Uh, yesterday, the parking lot at 9.45 a.m. Um, I'm recording this on Sunday. Uh, the parking lot at 9.45 a.m. on a Saturday is the most packed I've ever seen it at any time. You you had to park all the way at the end. Some people had to park, like, I think across into Walmart. Um, it was it was very busy. Um, so that's always good, right? A lot of dealers seem to be having a good time. Uh, a lot of chirps about comps and who's overpriced. We'll get into that in a second. Let's dive in. I'm going to go in reverse order because in reverse order is my excitement for these cards. I'm excited for all three cards. Um, they're all pretty, they're all big cards to me. Uh, but let's dive in. So I recently bought an E90-1 Eddie Collins uh, with green background. Love that card. Love the image. Saw this uh, Frank Home Run Baker card. Now is this a card that I've been targeting? No. Um, I don't know if I can get it to zoom in or focus any better. Uh, decent glare, but um, SGC3, love the green. If you follow me on Twitter, you can see more high-res scans or photos. Really good back. Fantastic card. Love it. Lefty. Home run Baker. Also became a Yankee at some point, which is always good. Fantastic image. Love the A's, the old A's uniforms. Uh, so pick that up. Pretty cool set. Um, this next card uh, is fantastic and started to make me think about this more. 
what would eight-year-old me think if I was able to buy this card or any of these cards that I have I haven't been able to show off? Um, eight-year-old me would freak out if this card was in my collection, and I freaked out earlier when I was able to buy it. It is the 1949 Leaf Ted Williams in a SGC 1.5. Maybe I can get that clear down a little bit, get it off to the side. Uh, fantastic uh, color, image, registration, uh, pretty pretty good centering. Um, it's got some surface cracks. My, my leaf mesial has the same stuff, these little weird things on the surface. The stain, right? Um, yeah, look at this thing, you know? Do I care about the corners? Absolutely not. Do I care that it's Ted Williams and a 1949 leaf card with really cool red? Yes. Back is pretty good. Um, really excited to have this one. Um, again, follow me on Twitter. Actually, I'm not gonna, don't follow me on Twitter. Look at my Twitter. You can follow me on Twitter if you want. Uh, but you can look at my Twitter. I, I posted a little bit better photo. Um, so that's the 1949 leaf Ted Williams. Oh yeah, and there's pinholes, <laughs> right? So don't want to forget those. There's some pinholes up here. Who cares? Look at that thing. Um, Friday, walking in the show, final card. Uh, then I'll share some more thoughts. Um, back in April, I saw this card and I asked the dealer how much for the card. No sticker. I said, nope, it's only part of the, the complete set. I said, how much for the complete set? Naive Donnie. Uh, 28 grand. All right, uh, well, I don't have that. I'm not willing to spend that on this complete set. Um, so, couldn't get it in April. Walk in on Friday. I'm in the show, no joke, 15 minutes. This is the fastest I've ever bought a card, and it was like, no brainer on the spot, buy it, work the guy down a little bit, I know the dealer, know him decently well, had, had a lot of conversations, but when I saw that this card and the rest of the set in the June show this weekend had stickers. I was excited. I have lost on this card at auction twice. Um, one is running off in Heritage right now. I looked at the prices this morning. Based on the price this morning, <laughs> I realized I would have lost it a third time. And man, I would have been really annoyed. But it was priced and it had a sticker. And on the spot, I bought the card. Got a little bit of a discount, very happy about it. But uh, we're gonna talk about that here in a second. The importance of that, because you wanna see this card, I hope. It is the E93 1910 Standard Caramel, Christy Matthewson. That orange blows my mind. Uh, it is an incredible card. Um, I wanted this card for a while now. I've been talking about it for months. I've been losing auctions. I literally don't care what the card looks like. I just wanted one. Just look at it. Uh, look at the pose. Look at the man. Look at the, the glove, the hat, the hair, the orange, the, the uniform. The back has staining. I think that's caramel staining, which is fantastic. I love it. Look at that thing. Look at Christy Matthewson, man. Blows. Here's another card, eight year old me. I didn't even know this card existed when I was eight. Um, blows my mind that I own this card. So, these three cards, it's Shintilly. Buying these cards, right? Take the last average sales, add them all up. I paid over comps. I paid, I think, 16%. I paid 116 comps. 116% comps. If you took these two cards and took the last whatever sales or average sales or whatever it was, however I did the math earlier, I think it was the last three sales. Um, I paid over. I've had a lot. Of, I had a lot of rough experience with USPS lately. You know, getting these cards from REA, signature delivery. They make me go to back and forth to the the post office a million times. Uh, trouble. Um, the Eddie Collins card that I bought, eBay authentication. I buy it on a Saturday. Guy doesn't ship it out until Wednesday. 
takes forever to get the PSA on the West Coast. Uh, the, the seller was on the East Coast, out to the West Coast, PSA, weekends. It finally gets authenticated, ships back to me, hits another weekend, uh, gets to me 13 days after I pay, 14 days after I pay, right? Uh, very frustrating. Um, so I think one thing that is lost on people is the card is right in front of you and you want it, right? I have no right to make, to I have no entitlement to make money off that dealer, right? To buy 80% off them and then sell for 90 or 95% on Twitter or eBay, right? That's just not how this works. Or at least that's not how I want to work. It's not how I operate. A lot of people do that and that's fine, right? If you're making money and you're, you're flipping, but you know, the convenience, like, oh, I can buy the card from you right now goes in my backpack and when I drive home I can put it on the shelf immediately I'm not paying taxes I'm not waiting for checks to clear with an auction house I'm not uh, you know rolling the dice with FedEx or UPS or USPS I can buy the card from you right now you're happy I'm happy I will pay up a little bit of a premium especially on this Williams I, I can't even explain how this looks in person for a 1.5. Uh, go check this, the pictures out that I took and put on Twitter. Or, you know, this Matheson, it's, you know, it's dirty. It's got some wrinkles. It's got jacked up corners. It's got staining on the back. Don't care. Look at the thing. It's orange. It's Chrissy Matheson. I'll, I'll take it all day. The Frank Baker's is cool. The Frank Baker's is a cool card. Right. So that, look at that green. It's a Hall of Famer. So, you know, I've heard, you know, people talk about Chantilly and say the dealers are overpriced. And, you know, if you're trying to make money, um, I think the easy money is, you know, kind of hard to come hard to come by. You know, you really got to work and you got to work out deals. You got to find the deals. But, you know, all this stuff is just going to go in the box and go on the shelf. Um, and I'm going to have a good time with it. So. Uh, really excited about the the show. Excited about the wheat and the petite. Um, just overall, good couple of weeks of cards. Um, excited for the national. Excited what the national is going to bring. Excited to see people. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what my plan is for the national. Uh, didn't have a plan for any of these. Right? Had no idea these would walk into my life uh, 72 hours ago. So. That's always a good thing, right? Going with a plan, I had a plan for that big old green tobacco card that everyone loves. That's always been the plan. I go in prepared, wanting that card. Some look like they're ran over by a truck. Some are very overpriced. I don't feel comfortable enough to, to you know, we're just not in the same conversation, which is fine, right? It's your card. Or the ones that are in the range, it's just not the one, right? It's just not the one. Um, and that's okay. You can spend that type of money, you can be picky. Um, so I will be prepared at the national for that. If not, if it doesn't work, I'll be buying. Keep buying. Fun times. All right, have a good one. All right, thanks.